Do a lot of mindset mental work with Mark. Today, a bit of a lighter session, um, a bit of technical stuff. Every day is an hard day and um, you know, I sparred last night. Coming today, you've, you've got little aches and pains and whatnot, but once I got going, I've, you know, lung were there um, and, and my arms felt good, I felt like I was flowing. Three weeks, two days. <laughs> it's not like I'm counting. When you're working on certain shots, when you're working on certain movements, and you've got to install that into your muscle memory. And the way to do that is repetition, 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 going over and over the same shot. So kind of you don't have to think about it no more. It just comes naturally. So you see a shot, you maybe counter, it's there, or you, you see an opening, you, you can create it because your body just got used to throwing them shots. Light. Good gust of wind blowing over. <laughs> Running up steps, I'm like a gazelle. <laughs> hell. Boom, straight up steps. What's that, Tash? What are we going to do? Just run upstairs. Fing <laughs> hell. Bang! 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 Abby is his pad man. So, you know, Abby will relay with my dad um, on the game plan and he'll set out certain shots and work on them. Abby will come along to the sparring, watch, and they say, right, when you come away, when it, that needs polishing up, that needs polishing up. So, you know, he's, he's got fast hands, he's got a good boxing brain as Abby himself. Watch my hand. <laughs> Give me a little hook after. I think I'm more faster than Barry, huh? We work it out on the opponent. So every time we do pad work or technical work, we work on that, uh, depends on the opponent, how, how, how we perform, watching what they do, most of the things, and see what the mistake they do, and try to work on it. <laughs> Roll, <laughs> Roll with stepping. Boom, <laughs> cross after. Here you go. He's really sharp, strong. Balance, timing, you take it, uh, on board everything, and that's what the good things are about him. <laughs> yeah, read it, read it, read it. There's been time when I have overcooked, I've done so much, and I think it's better to be undercooked and, and dig it out rather than being overcooked and have no to give, you know what I mean? So um, it's fine tuning, and uh, at this stage, taking days as a come. I don't really have camps as such as, you know, 12 weeks. I guess if it, we use that as a, as a guider, you've got 12 weeks now, you know, last 12 weeks, last 10 weeks, all that stuff. But, you know, I've probably been in gym 15, 16 weeks prior to fight. Jab, parry, jab. Tie. Majority of it's gone, boys, but. <laughs> That's hard work, isn't it? Three, two, one, time. So today we're Mark. Um, we're doing a few footwork drills, uh, do all kinds of different fields with Mark, you know. Like I say, we can be in there throwing the heavy metals about, you know, the, the, doing the strength conditioning side or the circuits and whatnot. And today we're, you know, we're a bit of footwork drills, a bit of, uh, bit of agility. Obviously, Gallard's a bit of a tricky mover, so you're going to have to have fast feet to close him down. Like if he jumps into me, you're going to have fast feet to move off. So, um, you know, it's just working all that stuff. Touch. I've been working with Josh since he won any title. I didn't have any titles and I started working with him, so we're talking seven years ago. 
and everything we've ever done together. Uh, I've got, you know, down here what he did this time last camp, what he did last this camp before, what he did in his, you know, first camp we ever did. So I can pattern match it all and uh, see where we are, where we want to be. And today, yeah, we're fantastic. It's exactly where we want to be. Fast pace, go. These tests here, uh, the concentration tests, is a graph with certain amounts of dots in, and we've got to look for the one with four dots in. He's coming to end at day where he's been training hard, so we're trying to keep him uh, mentally focused when, you know, this is a time when you can start losing your focus. So it's just about bringing this into the game. We've been doing it for quite a while now. It's about being able to deal with information in, in a small amount of time whilst under pressure. And time. Okay. When we're doing that there, finishing between rounds, sweating, catching my breath back, my muscles are tired, but it's like distract, taking out all that equation and focusing just on that. And that's where in the fight, you might have a fella who's fantastic in the first round, but like I say, later the fight goes, everything goes out the window because they're tired. And if the game plan starts going to, going to port and it starts falling apart, when they're going back to the corner, they can't take the instruction in because they're struggling. They're tired, their arms are heavy, their legs are tired, they've been hurt, and they're trying to take instruction as well. It's how do you deal with it? Well, you've got to strengthen for that muscle. A lot of people don't work on it. You can't take it for a run, you know what I mean? You, you can't make it do bench press. But you've got to do little drills like that to, to keep that sharpness, to keep that concentration. I think when you get to the very, very top level, very, very top, you know, you might have somebody who's fit as He can punch like a mule, he can take a punch, he's, he's got an intelligent boxing brain, but what separates him? Why can't he make that little transition to the top? And sometimes it comes to there, you know, in that 36 minutes you've got to be attention to detail from third round one to round 12. Just burn it out. Get that six pack for misses. <laughs> so the time she looks at me. <laughs>